Yeah. The Elite 2018. Let's talk about it. The Elite 2018. We changed it up just a little bit, but we did. We, we updated the Elite for a new and improved version. Didn't want to make it a V2. We really like the, the year idea. Uh, doesn't mean that we won't still be making this in 2019, but this is going to be the 2018 version. I like that better than an Elite 2, an Elite, uh, I don't know, I guess better than an Elite V2. Um, Basically, changes were small, but we wanted to keep the idea behind the Elite the same and just make some small, small tweaks to give it a little bit better performance, make it a little more comfortable. Those were basically the two goals. Uh, one other change that I will talk about here shortly, uh, but the Elite, the idea of the Elite is what we think a bimetal should be, and that is a lighter yo-yo that takes full advantage of those weight rings uh, stainless steel and brass, uh, what other, what other um, weight rings you want to use? Titanium, copper, um, but anyways, taking full advantage of it with the aluminum body and then the weight rings. Uh, so the Elite, original Elite was 61 and a half grams, I believe, and we really just showed off what you could do with a lighter yo-yo, but packing the power to the rims without overdoing it on the rim rate to keep the pay playability still agile and um, just overall the way we feel a uh, good yo-yo should play. Not too much room weight, not, not enough room weight, is still stable. You gotta find that happy medium. You can have too much room weight, um, but that's, that's, that's for a different video. So, the Elite 2018. First thing we did, change the profile up a little bit. Uh, put some angles in here. It's not completely rounded like the original. Believe it or not, it is more comfortable in the hand that way. Always, in my opinion. But uh, I wouldn't lead you guys down down the wrong path, would I? Um, but so so maybe the comfort maybe the comfort didn't upgrade for you. But that was a goal for mine. I wanted to be a little more comfortable in the hand, and I think that those cuts make it a little bit wider in the top of the catch zone, and that makes it a little more comfortable in my hand. They're not sharp cuts, so it's not like it's anything uncomfortable. It just widened it up a little bit at the top for the way it fits in your hand. Second thing that did, besides just giving you a little bit of comfort, it allowed us to mess with the weight distribution. So we took a 61 and a half gram yo-yo and took another 0.7-ish grams, 0.8 grams, somewhere in there, off of the yo-yo. And uh, this baby's coming in at under 61 grams with the stainless steel. Uh, obviously the brass rings are gonna be a little bit heavier, but right now we're just comparing stainless steel to stainless steel. Um, diameter is the same, width is the same. Like I said, a little more comfortable. Let us mess with the weight distribution. So we actually were able to add to the power, add to the stability by adjusting that weight distribution. And then the second change that you will see right off the bat, and that was the nipple. And you'll be able to see, we are taking just a little bit of center weight out and adjust with that. Not much, just a little bit. And uh, kind of give us that boom. You can tell right away, hey, this is the Elite 2018. Kind of like the Banshee has a inner cut in the, in the cup. Uh, we wanted to try something different with the Elite to the Elite 2018. So we adjusted the nipple, um, the hub, the spike, whatever you would like to call it. Uh, but it, it is, is a different feeling. Not as sharp. That was definitely something we wanted to to get away from with the original elite but still sharp enough so that they are very usable for uh matador play and uh, i'm trying to i can't think of what it's called um basically pull starts to to matador whatever um but you guys get what i'm saying the spikes are still highly usable you can finger spin and then pull the yo-yo over and be finger spinning on the spike good to go for days you know um so those are the two changes there one of the changes you will notice in the play besides it being a little bit lighter you might not notice that right off the bat it might actually feel a tad heavier just because of the weight distribution changes but that is the drag or the kickback um, of the original Elite that you feel a little bit towards the end of the string, a little bit of a like a delay. I call it a drag, it feels like to me. Uh, we tried to fix that, to adjust that in the Elite 2018, and I feel like we did a good job of that. This, this 
comes down your string just mmm just makes you feel warm and happy inside so yeah those are the, the the changes of the elite 2018 and our last topic of conversation here is uh one that i think some of you might have an opinion on one way or the other um just know that i put a lot of thought into this and i'm happy with where we're at right now but i'm definitely open to hearing what you guys think and where you would like us to adjust and which route you would like us to use in the future, I suppose. Um, so basically, most of you guys know the Elite, our, our shop had about a six month wait now for the, our next run after this last batch, which I wasn't happy with because of the miscommunication. Um, they had messed up the area around the spike and then the spikes were much sharper than the prior run. Um, and they didn't have a good explanation as to why. Uh, the ring, they did. That was a miscommunication between us. With the spike, they did not. Um, so, with this six month downturn, the, the shop had other things to work on their normal supply chain things. We um, went ahead, made the changes to the CAD and decided to have a little run done at the machine shop we've used in China. Uh, we wanted to see what their quality was for bimetals. So far, it's been great for the case files. Um, the machining, anodizing isn't the best yet. Um, you guys saw that in the case file one, as far as the fades didn't look good. Um, then you saw that in the case file 002, we had them machined at that shop and then anodized here, and that did not turn out perfectly, um, but that's what the case file series is for. Okay, back on track. Anyways, um, machining was good for the OC though. Machining was good for the Hello Ratchet. Oh, anyways, back on track here. Um, the Elite. So, the Elite came back, machining on point, 100%, fantastic, no problems. We got a full batch back, all smooth, none going to the trash. We did have some anodizing flaws, but as far as the machining aspect, fantastic. Number two, turnaround time. Way quicker. Like, way, way quicker. That would be... Um, it's really going to help with supply chain issues. Uh, you guys know that most of my stuff takes six to eight months, and then the bimetals for the elites were going to take even longer for that. It was going to take, I think, nine months if I placed an order back in December for me to get my next order, they, they estimated. Um, so that was kind of the catalyst to make those changes and, and get a little run made to see if we wanted to make the changes to the design and see if we want to make the changes to the machine shop. Between that, machining is overall is better, and turnaround time is incredible. I can make, I can place small orders and have them back in a couple months, no problem. They do, they offer different levels that I can pay as well. So, you know, if I wanna pay extra to get them back quicker, I can do that. If I wanna pay extra to have a guarantee that when I assemble and test them here, if they're bad, they're gonna send me replacement parts. So that's two huge things that really, really help. Uh, the turnaround time being quicker, that is super cool. I can do special editions for things that I've never been able to do before. If I want to do a special edition for, for April Fools with a cool engraving, I can do that. If I want to, uh, I don't know, a birthday. It's, it's my birthday, I want to put out a birthday edition uh, for the Elite 2018, I can do that. Uh, that's some stuff that I could do prior to, but I would have to basically plan it out a year in ahead, and you don't know if you're gonna be still producing that yo-yo basically. Um, so that, those are some of the positives. I can go back and forth with you when I'm willing to. Um, I definitely wanna answer your questions. Uh, mainly the thing that you guys wanna know is it's cheaper. Yes, uh, they're gonna be about $30 cheaper than the regular Elite. Quality is still 100% premium. Uh, you're still getting the, the great packaging as well. Uh, I actually think the machining is better for the bimetals um, overall. So, and you're getting the design upgrades, but that 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 doesn't play into where it's machined. Uh, that was going to possibly happen either way, uh, but we decided to go ahead and, and make it happen quicker since we were switching shops. No reason to have a little run made at a different machine shop of the same design. We went ahead and made those upgrades and enhancements. No vibe enhancements though. Some of you that have been around for a while understand that reference. But yeah, that's 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 where we're at. 
that's uh, that's the changes to 2018. I hopefully you guys um, are going to love it. Hopefully you get a chance to try one soon because I'm, I'm pretty sure you're actually gonna love it. Uh, I love the changes. Most of the people that have tried it so far absolutely love it. Uh, when I say most, I mean all. <laughs> I haven't had anybody say that they, they don't like it. So that's a great thing. I absolutely love it. That's kind of where I put my, uh, my radar is what do I think of it personally? Uh, most of the stuff we make, well, all the stuff we make I like, but I have different levels of liking. Um, you know, my baby, the Banshee's way up here. The Elite was a little bit below the Banshee. Uh, Elite 2018 is way up there with the, the Banshee and Banshee 2018. Um, then you got like, the Wolf Wolf for me is a little bit more down here. It wasn't specifically for, why, why are we talking about that? No, 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 no. Thanks for watching, we'll see you guys tomorrow.